Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is exciting because we have a brand new collector monster hide all that came out and is in my hands within like two days. So that's absolutely insane. And I'm so excited. This is the Stitched in Style Frankie Stein doll. Here is the packaging. It's right there, Stitched in Style. Monster High. This packaging is very similar to Gulex Gulia. So, like, I think she may have originally been, like, a fan club type of thing. But then got moved to Amazon instead. She even comes in a Mattel Creations box. So... But anyways, it says, Frankie Stein is stitched together in a look that electrifies. A stitching style with edge, Frankie Stein stuns in a deconstructed couture gown that celebrates the timeless art of tailoring and dressmaking. Reminiscent of a dress mannequin, a halter bustier with top stitching is paired with a ruched overskirt with asymmetric layers of creeperific tulle. Accented with a dramatic chain, a gorgeous caged headdress with a crown of needles and matching chain bracelets creates high voltage fashion. Her look is finished with patchwork skeletos. <laughs> That's dumb. With a chic needle point heel, elegant and electrifying, Frankie Stein is perfectly pulled together in a look that will have ghouls falling apart at the seams. And here's the back. Uh, somebody did mention that we really don't get like art for the G1 releases, which is kind of sad. I think if they got. I think her name was like Kelly Riley or something. She was the one doing the art for like 2015 type of style. You know, that artwork for G1, so good. It'd be really cool if they could get her back on board. Also like the curtains up here are the same like plaid pattern. So cute. Okay, let's get her out. All right, Frankie's out of the box. So let's take a look at what we get. The first thing we have is our certificate of authenticity, stitched in style Frankie Stein. This certifies that your monster has stitched style Frankie Stein doll, materialized through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at M Mattel. And then Annalise Lau is the head designer or lead designer for this Frankie. And if you haven't already seen, she did post a bunch of stuff on her Instagram story about like the design process. That was really interesting to read. It makes me like the doll even more. Uh, obviously, like, it's a story, so it's probably gone by now, but I'm hoping she, like, put it in a highlight, but I don't know. I'm not, I didn't check for sure, so sorry if she didn't. And then we have the Silver Skelet Saddle Stand. So these ones are being made from, like, that more durable plastic than the clear plastic that snaps really easily, and I think it's holding her pretty well, so yay. Functioning saddle stands. This is all I ever wanted. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to our doll. Here is her face. Super, super gorge. So this face is a combination of the Haunt Couture and the Haunt Couture Midnight Runway screening. So we have the original Haunt Couture eye shape here. It looks really different without like the gloss effect, I think is what they did with Haunt Couture. Also without lashes, it looks super different. Super love it though. I love the painted lashes way better than the rooted lashes personally. We have some blue shadow on the inner corner that goes into the lid and it is smoked out with a gray shadow. Lots of lashes on this Frankie. And then up here, if we can move this bang, we do have the eyebrows from Haunt Couture 2 or, or Midnight Runway. So super love that. I love this screening. Oh, best of both worlds. And then we have a metallic silver lip which looks so cool love that look at that shininess with the faintest bit of blushing for earrings we do have these sewing needles with like little threads wrapped around them like mid stitch kind of and fun fact they're actually only able to be this sharp because it's a collector doll and not made for kids so i thought that was an interesting little tidbit so for Frankie's hair, this go around, we have all of the white right here in the front. So that's all we get for the white hair. And they has these two little tendrils that are supposed to be like gelled, but mine are, aren't. So yay for me. Uh, and then we have some bangs here. I do, I do feel like the bangs are a rooted a little funny. Um, could definitely be a bit better, but... I'm not too mad at the ones I got in particular. They're just very blunt and very, like, rectangular. I don't know how to describe it, but they look a little funny. But that's just Mattel's rooting process these days. I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, and then in the back of the hair is all black. So that's really cool. This is Saran, by the way. It's pulled up right here in the front. So we have a little Arianka moment going on with this little bun. 
And at first I was like, this bun is so random. But then like I read the explanation and I was like, oh, okay, wait, I kind of love the bun. It's like a lightning rod type of moment. So yeah, it's, it's a little, a little greasy, but I think that's just how Saran feels like these days when it comes straight out of the box. So yeah, just needs a little, little help. Then she's wearing this really intricate cage hair piece. It has, or it's made from chains, of course, right here. There's little like safety pins, three safety pins right there. And I think they have a skelet, like, yeah, there's a skelet sculpted into them. And then you have these little needles right here. We look like a reverse pin cushion. So cute. And then on the other side, it's the same thing. The hanging off bits right here that go all the way down. We have this needle or sewing tool. I don't know what it's called, but I think this is what, I think she said like it helps you make shirt collars. Yeah, that's what it was. And then we have like a little pizza cutter moment you know <laughs> but it's a sewing tool it's not a pizza cutter but yeah that's what it's giving that's what we have it's super cute it's kind of like a shiny plastic it's not matte but it's not electroplated either i would have liked to see it electroplated but also i don't know like if it would have worked electroplated and it does just kind of like split open right here so you can remove it oh and there's like barbed wire too you see that's like barbed wire so cool oh and the hairstyle also like is made like this specifically to hide the fact that it splits down the middle. So, you know, every detail was thought about. On the left arm, we do have these little cuffs, super cute. So these are also barbed wire and I love these. They're pretty sharp. So this is probably something they couldn't get away with on Playline, but I would love to see, oh, Stan just fell. I would love to see this like on a G3 Frankie because I just, I don't know, I love it. Uh, also, if you've noticed or you, I don't know if you can notice, but I am like experiencing some discoloration from the arms to the torso. I'm not sure what's going on there, but you know, it's giving me a little bit of PTSD with glue head and whatnot, but she doesn't have glue head, but you know, y'all know what I mean. For her top, we do have a black pleather bustier and there is some mesh right there creating that little collar moment. It's super cute. I love this a lot. It's a super versatile piece too. Like this is so crazy to see on a monster hide all. Um, and that just ties in the back like this and also it has a Velcro. I love the white stitch details too. This is a really nice piece. I really, really like it. All right. So now we have the skirt. I'm not really sure how to show this off, but we have this top layer. This is a separate skirt. So you can see there's two skirts. The top layer is made from like five, I think five different Frankie plaids and they're all like sized different to create this really cool effect going on here, just like sizing wise to make it look like it's flowing and it's, you know, ruched and whatnot. It's made from like a satiny fabric. It's, but it feels nicer than the usual like satin they use. So yeah, and you can see that it has this little like almost like Christmas bag like moment like where it scrunches up like this you know I don't know how to explain it but it's cute it uses elastic it's a white elastic right there and like this is its own piece underneath it there is some mesh or tool to give it a little bit more volume I bet and it doesn't the print does not go on on the back side but that's whatever also I thought this print was like the exact same as 1600 but obviously not so that's really cool that it is a brand new plaid. I really like this. This doll's like 1600 if it was her party instead of Dracula's party. Does that, like, that's what it's giving. And then underneath that skirt, we have this black asymmetrical skirt for a base layer. It's made from like a, um, like a cotton, maybe? It's not as soft as a cotton. It's, it's it feels fine. Uh, anyways, and then here we have five different layers of tool, I think she said. But let's see, one two three four i'm only counting four but i could be like delusional i'm pretty sure she said there was five layers of tool and we have a blue sparkly one and a, another blue sparkly one and a black one super super pretty i just love this doll's outfit so much and then the little piece de resistance is this very intricate little belt moment so right here it looks like a pin like a pin cushion kind of moment is what it's giving you can see that then we have a bunch of sculpted chains going around. There's some safety pins. This uses like the clas classic, she called it a mushroom uh, loop thingy. So I didn't know it was called that, but I kind of see it. I don't know. It just clips in the back. 
But anyways, there's, there's two little safety pins. We have some stitches, barbed wire. Oh, we're not even reading down barbed wire. Chain. More barbed wire. Wow, those are like two different barbed wires. That's so cool. Okay, and this goes all the ways around to create this little cage moment. And then at the very bottom, there is a pair of embroidery scissors hanging off of the end. And that looks like a lightning bolt right here. Yep, that looks like a little bit of lightning bolt with a little like nut. I think it's called a nut. <laughs> Tools. Uh, screw nut bolt you know something holding it all together and it's the same on the side or this one too but it's some lightning bolt super cool piece for sure and to finish the look off we have a pair of pointed toe skeletos we have a little strappy heel if you look very closely you can see that that strap is actually measuring tape so that is really cool i think it was originally supposed to be painted but they couldn't get it at such a small scale painted but it's cool that the sculpt still has it on there because I was thinking like the sculpt was not on there. But anyways, here there is little like stitch details around the seams. Really cool sculpting on the seams to make it look realistic. And then on the back, it looks like that. Like that with a little chain. The inspiration was to make it look like halfway done. Like we're in the process of sewing. The base of the heel is hollow and the heel is a needle. And this little, like, platform part, the soles, are supposed to look like mid-stitch. Like you are made a little mistake and you just kept going type of moment. So, super cool shoes. All right, and that is going to wrap it up for Stitched. Was it Stitched in Style? Yeah, Stitched in Style. Oh, my God, so in style. <laughs> stitched in Style, Frankie. I'm very happy with this doll. I think she's so, so cool. I love all of the, like, barbed wire details especially. Like, that's my favorite part. Um, and she was $50 on Amazon exclusive. I'm glad she wasn't 75. <laughs> 50 still feels kind of like a lot, but I'm willing to pay that for a collector doll. And I think she's pretty good. Like, I don't know. Like, this definitely would have been $25 in, like, 2012. But for the 2023 standards, I think pretty decent. Pretty decent for sure. Oh, I also forgot to mention there's, like, metallic stitches on the skirt. But anyways, if I was going to change anything about this doll, I would, like, give the plastic, the metal, an electroplated look. Uh, especially, like, I want the, I wanted the bolts to be electroplated, like, this one. So, yeah, that's kind of disappointing. But I also get it because if they electroplated just the bolts, it would look off with all of the other silver. So I think she was definitely thinking when she designed this doll and that's why she's my favorite monster high designer <laughs> but yeah anyways let me know what you guys think of her down below in the comments and as always if you enjoy the content make sure to subscribe and follow my socials and i'll see y'all next time bye